हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क प्रैक्टिकल टुडे विल बी डूइंग स्टैटिक राउटिंग दिस इज़ द टोपोलॉजी सो हियर वी हैव अ राउटर टू राउटर्स एंड टू पीसीज सो दिस टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो दिस इज द नेटवर्क एड्रेस सो हियर वी हैव थ्री नेटवर्क वन इज दिस वन सेकेंड इज दिस वन द सेकेंड नेटवर्क एंड दिस इज द थर्ड नेटवर्क वी हैव थ्री नेटवर्क टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो ट्वेंटी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो जीरो टेन थर्टी देन वी नीड टू असाइन एड्रेस सो दिस इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द पी सी देन टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू दिस इज द फर्स्ट एड्रेस टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो विच इज असाइन टू दिस राउटर दिस इंटरफेस ऑफ राउटर जीरो जीरो इंटरफेस सो इन दिस राउटर एवरी राउटर देर आर टू इंटरफेस वन इज जीरो जीरो वन इज जीरो वन सो जीरो जीरो वी गिव एड्रेस टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो वन and on the int other interface 0 slash 1 because this network is 20.0.0.0 we give the address as 20.0.0.1 and here we have 20.0.0.2 then uh, at this router uh, the second interface 0 slash 0 we give the address 30.0.0.1 so this first we have to understand the network so this is what the network we have okay three networks now we have to configure static routing on this so we'll use cisco packet tracer so here we start with the cisco packet tracer so first i have to select the router so i take you can uh, if this is a cisco packet tracer version 7.0 so you can use any other version also the thing is we have to first select the routers so i just select this router put it here then i take the same i put it routers here two routers then uh, i select the pcs So here I get the PC. I put it here. Then the second PC I put it here. Now for connection I take this. And here see this is this this wire I have to take this one the dotted one this one. So I put it here. Fast Ethernet zero is connected here to zero zero interface. Then this zero one is connected with zero one. We can connect anything. But uh, we must remember what we are doing because in our topology, what our topology in this we have zero 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 one this way. So therefore, I am using that topology only. Then uh, connection this this to zero one. Sorry, zero zero to this particular it fast Ethernet. Now next we have to give the address. So if you remember here, this PC is ten dot zero dot zero dot two, and this is thirty dot zero dot zero dot two. So we assign the address. So double click on this so we double click on this we'll get a interface for configuring the pc yes this one so we go on desktop click on desktop and here you can see ip configure we click on here so here now we have to give the ip address so ip address is uh, 10.0.0.2 subnet mask will come automatically and here we have to give the default gateway now what is the default gateway for this particular pc Okay, for this particular PC, this point, this is the this is the default gate, and the address is this one, ten dot zero dot zero one. So we have to put this in that particular default gateway. We have to set this default gateway, this one. So this is ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay. Now this is done. It auto automatically gets saved. Now we come here. This is the uh, uh, address is thirty dot zero dot zero dot. Dot zero dot zero dot two, and subnet mask will come automatically. And the this default gateway is thirty dot zero dot zero dot one. This is the default. This is the default gateway. Okay. Now we have to configure the routers. So router this zero zero this zero zero interface should be given address ten dot zero dot zero dot one, and zero one should be given twenty dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay. So let us come to that particular uh, router. we come to cisco packet tracer we add double click on here okay now here we go to config in config this is 00, 00. so 00, 00 interface i have first put it on see as soon as you put it on this becomes green this becomes green now the address is 10.0.0.1 this will automatically come now we to put this one now this is 01 so 01 this interface so that address is we put it on now this won't become green because this this we have to put this particular on then it will become green so the address here is 20.0.0.1 
this is configured now we come to this particular router okay. so this particular router the 00, zero this is the this this particular is the 00, zero interface so i put it on so it becomes green so the address is 30.0.0.1 this automatically comes okay then the other interface is i put it on now now it becomes green so this is 20.0.0.2 so this is how we configure okay this is how we configure the uh, all 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 these points are green okay now suppose if i ping okay what, what is doing of pinging is checking the connectivity so if i from this particular pc if i ping okay i type the ping message and uh, see whether that packet is reachable that this message is reachable to this so we have to type the ping message okay so i click here and then command prompt okay i type the message ping ping uh, ping ping and the address of this particular the pc next pc 0 0.2 now i see here i am getting that uh, destination host is not reachable that means we have to configure the routers for uh, putting the path the path is not available so now here comes the static routing part okay that will be doing now that is what is static routing how we configure it now next we do the configuration of static routing how to configure this so we click here on the router we have to set the path using static routing so here we can see static okay now static we have to add a network the mask and the next hop now what is this so let us go to the diagram this this is our diagram okay, this is our original diagram which shows uh, the configuration okay now uh, listen carefully this particular router this router is connected to these two networks this network 20.0.0.0 and this network it is already connected so it can send all the packets which are in this network but this network i am marking with red this network is not reachable for this particular router it doesn't know any information about this so we need to add this we had we have to add this particular network for this router okay and uh, uh, so we have to add this okay we, we add this and uh, what is the next hop next hop means from the packets which are uh, f going from this particular router to this network they have to go through this particular path this particular we can say hop okay so next hop will come this one because all the packets which are for this particular network they have to go through this 20.0.0.2 of this particular router so this is the next hop so see how we add it okay so uh, we have clicked on this particular router so this router we cannot reach this network 30.0.0.0 so we are in this network mask is of course 255.0 we need to add this here okay. now what is the next hop next hop means this this is the address of this particular router uh, okay. so this is 20.0.0.2 okay, this is the address so we click on add okay now this is added now we close this now for this particular router okay if i go to the diagram now in this particular diagram uh, for this particular router for this particular router uh, it knows about this network it has knowledge about this network but this particular network is not known so we need to add this particular network and this is the next hop address because it, all the packets will have from this particular router will go through this 20.0.0.1 so we add we click here okay and we come to static okay so we need to add address 10.0.0.0 mask is 255.0.0.0 so next stop is this particular address it is 20.0.0.1 so we add this now static routing is complete now let us check the connectivity for checking like checking the connectivity we click here okay and see whether ping message is working or not so we'll ping uh, so here we come to command prompt we open the command prompt okay and ping okay th we ping the next pc let us see so we are pinging the data okay so if uh, routing is properly configured we will get a reply from there the first this shows that it is four packets are sent so first two packets have time now they see the reply has come okay the last two 
so out of four packets two packets have been lost this occurs uh, when when we give the very first ping message some uh, messages are lost so these two are lost we can ping it again so now we'll have 100% uh, success now you can see here reply so this is what it shows that there is a zero percent loss so all the packets are re uh, uh, reached there and they are replied back now we can also ping from here also command prompt so we type the ping message ping to that particular uh, pc p i n g ping 10.0.0.2 now see the reply comes so this is how the static routing works okay so that's all for this practical thanks for watching